Today is Turn Garbage Into Art Day, so let's see what I'm working with. I've got quite a few cards here, subway cards, metro passes to be specific, so if you've got spare metro passes or MTA, CTA passes at home, or even cards from stores like Shoppers Drug Mart, Walgreens, CVS, you can use those. I shy away from using debit or credit cards because you don't want your account numbers to be on display. You'll also need a bristle board. A frame, you can see mine has a mat, scissors, Mod Podge, and a paintbrush. I've been saving my Metro Passes for the past five years for auditing reasons, but I don't need them anymore. So I'm going to use them to create some urban art. And if you know anyone in Toronto, we here, we're always talking about public transit. So I am going to create some art that plays into part of my everyday experience. I've got my bristle board here and I've taken out my mat. And what I'm going to do is trace around the mat, the outside of it and the inside of it. And then I'm going to cut on the outside. And there's a box in the middle, and that's the space where I'm going to lay down the metro passes to create the art. I'm cutting the strips in various lengths and widths. And what I'm trying to do while cutting is capture some of the artwork that's on the metro passes. For example, the TTC logo, different shots, the different streetcars and subways, subway stations and so forth to really tie together the whole Toronto transit theme. Here's part of my collection and I've got all sorts of different colors to really create a mosaic feel. There are two ways to go about affixing the card pieces onto the bristle board. What you can do is apply the Mod Podge directly to the bristle board and then apply the piece of the card to the board. Another way to attach the pieces to the bristle board is to glue the back of the strip you've cut and apply the podge there and then stick it onto the bristle board. Try to keep the height of each piece you're putting on the same row as similar as possible. This will help maintain the tiling effect. You don't have to break out your ruler and account for every millimeter, but keep your eyes out and estimate the right size to cut. Keep gluing the strips of the cards until there is no space left for you to glue them onto. The card work is done. Time to put the mat in the frame, followed by my new creation. I'll have to find a more permanent place to hang it up on because resting it against my clock isn't really going to work well. But you get the idea of what it would look like on a shelf or against the wall. So this turned out a lot better than I actually thought it was going to, which is great. And I think it's very unique and distinct and it represents part of my Toronto life, taking the subway, using my Metro Pass. And it gives new definition to the term subway tile too. Anyway. Thank you for watching me here on I See Melanie and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll be back here with some more videos, okay? Take care. Bye.